What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're on our main account. Uh, figured out we could do something. We could actually push a little bit of progress without switching much around on our heroes uh, for the Dark Faction, which is pretty interesting. Uh, we're going to throw some artifacts on some heroes here. Uh, it sounds weird, but I'm actually throwing crowns on the carries that we're going to use, and then we're going to try to use a couple Amon Ra's on top of that. I guess going for like demon bells might be a thing. I just think they're going to be too slow to do much of anything. Uh, just in case I pick the wrong carry. I'm just going to put crowns on all of them. Uh, not even going to use a Drake, I don't think, because we don't have any of them V4 or anything. We're just going to see how far we can take it with our two heroes. Right now, I want to run a Rui Scepter on our Lord of Fear Aspen. And then, you know what? A Punisher is actually pretty solid. I kind of like that on our Star Swordsman Mockman. Because he will do a ton of damage up front. The big, big takeaway from this, though, is going to be my man here. Now, the one thing I need to think about, though, it's a very offensive skin. But his other skin has damage reduction, attack, HP. I just don't like the skin. <laughs> I love the Krampus skin. Let's see what we can do here today. So... Jumping into Dark Sealand, I just hit the first node. I literally just like one tapped it. All thanks to Lord of Fear Aspen. He is the MVP. I'm putting both carries in the front row to see how they will do. Kind of reviving, kind of keeping them under control. Having a Rui is going to, and I don't think we even had a Rui last time. I had like a snow heart still on him and <laughs> it was not anything amazing. Uh, but he still managed to do a lot. And this time we're actually keeping our heroes alive a long time. And, uh, yeah, this CC is pretty nuts. Plus, the damage coming from the Star Swordsman Mockman is just nuts. Absolutely obliterating the other team. They're both pretty much doing about the same, even though the Star Swordsman Mockman is much further behind. But you gotta remember, our Aspen does have a Receptor. The only thing I was thinking about, but again, we have... We have so much spirit issues right now. One, one really good note someone mentioned to me is if I can get in the Central Hall down to, like... This node, I could literally buy as much as I want, but like to unlock that store in one run is like near impossible. I would have to save resources to get down there, and I don't know if that's something I want to do. I might just spend some to get a ton of spirit all of a sudden. Uh, but yeah, we're we're down to one billion. Doesn't sound like a lot, and it's not a lot. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I think we could level him up a bit higher. Maybe get him up to the same level of this. Well, actually, we're just a few points away from his next tier. So we might as well do that, right? We might as well break him through to four. Give him a little bit more power in levels. Gives him more speed as well. 64 is not going to be enough, right? No, definitely not. We're going to need another event to get up there. But it gets him a little bit stronger. A little bit more damage. We'll see how far we can take it. And you got to remember, neither one of these heroes are householders either. They are just bone stock V4 heroes. Uh, we did lose one Amon Ra. We got one layer of shield up, which is cool. And just remember, again, none of our support heroes are V4 either. So that is a huge difference in their tank ability. Uh, but so far, this is working pretty good. Having some carries out here in combination with a Lord of Fear Aspen. Very strong combo. That is one nasty looking like dragon, right? Like that dragon looks awesome. <laughs> it looks absolutely crazy strong. Uh, yeah, we might not be able to do this one. We'll see. Luckily, Lord of Fear Aspen has a ton of healing. So if he can have some support heroes coming up here and there, it might end up being pretty good. But this might be our stopping point already. I was hoping we could get 26 done right off the bat. Yeah, that stun is kind of brutal, honestly. And the fact that we can't CC the boss is pretty significant. We're kind of going down like a wet sack of potatoes here. So the, they're, they're kind of hitting the back row pretty hard. The stun is the problem because our Star Swordsman Mockman is not fast enough. 
maybe we need to literally just run like more of a speed setup on him just so that he gets to go first because right now he's not really serving much of a purpose in his current form uh, we could do like a speed crit with like an a and b and i hope that's enough speed for him to go before the enemy because like i said it doesn't matter how offensive he is if he's not fast enough yeah there we go so he gets he gets off his attack before they do all their stuns and everything i might put an amon ron in the front row as well we'll have to see it is some extra damage which is nice but we're still going down pretty quick here we only have two amon rods to deal with i mean again if we did have them all v4 that would be something but stellar shards are not that easy to come by although if we do make like our lord of fear aspen the main householder we would need a v4 a carry and we would need a v4 an amon Ra, so that would be pretty big if he just full heals like every attack that would be cool <laughs> it would just work out perfectly fine right um but it does look like we are starting to struggle maybe i should put like the star swordsman mockman in the front row and put the carries in the back row that might be a better look for us Yeesh, man that's brutal uh let's try that maybe put you up here leave one almond raw front row one back row because the back row does get hit pretty hard it actually kind of keeps our star swordsman mockman a little safer which i'm not against honestly yes he's gonna get a lot of counter attack damage off too the fact is so many of these enemies though hit both front and back row it's just kind of brutal yeah, maybe Lord Fear asked him to be better with Balanced Strike as well. Keep him healthier. Honestly, both of them might be better with Balanced Strike at this point. Let's try a few more battles here. Uh, let's do Balanced Strike here. And where are you? Balanced Strike here. Yeah, that works out. It could be a good way to do it because if we are full healing every single time, then... Yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's a good, safe way to go. I think Rui's good on him. Maybe we should go something different than Rui Scepter. It is nice having that fear effect, but like maybe an A and B would make him even stronger. Because yeah, Lord of Fear Aspen and Star Swordsman Machman are now able to like heal back up to full, which is kind of their main problem. I think going for a Rui Scepter on this one is a little too squishy. But like Star Swordsman Machman keeps able to heal if we have both of them up that could be pretty huge so let's do one more adjustment here switch you over as well to an a and b speed attack yeah just go full out i guess we could change their enables to like full-on attack and not speed attack with a and b uh the fear effect won't be as reliable but the tankiness should be there Oof. unless they go down like that and then the bounce strike is not what we need we'll do a few more attempts here i just want to see if we can get this boss down just with our current setup if not we might switch everything over and just test it out this does seem to be a better way to run the team though definitely does Oh, Star Swords of Nwakwin, come on. Big heal, big heal. We need to keep you alive here, my man. This is definitely working better. Definitely, definitely working better. Aspen is doing a lot of damage to that target in the back. They do revive, though, so we're going to have to kill them again. But that's kind of good because that increases the amount of damage we're doing is when we do kill that target, it does the nice AoE. I think we might have it here. Do we have enough damage to finish this out? Four rounds. I think we do. I think we got it. I think we got it there we go nice more cloud island materials i will take it so let's see if we can keep pushing further down into 27 i imagine these battles should be pretty easy for us because we already did them last time we had like punisher staff and Rui scepter now that they're more tanky and everything i feel like we'll be able to do it unless we go to like too many rounds which could also be a problem
man, as <laughs> Lord of Fear Aspen, fear ability in combination with like carries and stuff is a nice little thing. And the taunt is actually really awesome from the Star Swordsman Machman to keep all the other heroes alive. Okay, next round. Next, his next active should be very strong. Oh no, he doesn't get there. Uh, maybe we have to go back to the more powerful way, or just Lord of Fear Aspen. I don't think he's gonna have enough damage, is he? He's definitely tanky enough. Maybe we just go to like two Punisher stabs and just try to nuke this enemy team down. Cause yeah, we just ran out of time pretty much. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go back over here. We can run you back with. Punisher, that's fine. We can run, honestly, we could run him with a Punisher staff too. And just go like crazy damage and everything. Eh, I'll stick with speed attack. Uh, so we got both of those there. Let's also change their positioning up too. Let's put the carries back in the front row on this wave. And I think that will be better. We don't have a core from either of them. So it is what it is. Yeah, they hit the front row a bunch. So putting them both in the back row is going to mean a ton of damage capability for the back rows we have Amon Ra's that are going to be pretty much safe as well so that's going to keep our team alive and just let our back row go like full offensive and just new oh my god maybe not <laughs> maybe not quite that offensive maybe we need to get rid of balance strike at this point and go back to unbending will unbending will and unbending will Either that or maybe go back to the Rui Scepter on our Aspen. That could be something important to run too, just to make sure we're locking down two targets every round. Yeah, probably better than the Punisher Staff, honestly. The Rui Scepter is just so reliable, whereas here we're not getting that second fear effect up, which is a big difference of incoming damage. Let's go back. Put him back to his good old Rui Scepter ways. Looking good, looking good. Go back into this fight. Come on, we can get this clear. I know we can. If not, hey, it is what it is. Pretty surprising, considering neither of them have a household. They're doing really, really solid. Lord of Fear Aspen is kind of like my new favorite hero right now. He's just, he's got such unique abilities when you can get sublimation on him and high tree of origin levels. Because the, the fear effect is just, amazing amazing just basically takes two enemies out of the combat in sea land and then like a whole back row in other combat it's just really nuts and as you can see here with the receptor we have so much more survivability right now we're not even losing the amon rods in the back row and it's letting star swordsman Machman dish out a ton of damage here next round should be another huge damage round right here oh we didn't get the kill Come on, Aspen. Get the kill down here. Get the kill down here. Right here. Yeah, there we go. Big AoE damage. And the honestly, the demon bells are kind of working out pretty good. The feed additional actives into the Lord of Fear Aspen. I kind of like it. Yep, that seems like what we needed to get this done. Maybe we need we need to kill here. Two rounds. Okay, all right, we got the kill. Just barely. Just barely. Lord of Fear Aspen. Even with the Rui Scepter, just dominating the enemies. Looks like we're doing more fights, guys. Looks like we're doing more. He's just so amazing for Sea Land, too. Holy cow. Look at that. It just takes both of them out of the combat completely. You're only fighting against two enemies, which means getting your Amon Ra's to get their shields up is just so much easier. And we only have two layers of her Guardian Shadow Shield, not three like we would if she was V4. Okay, we need some more protection on that Star Swordsman. Mockman, he's going down lower. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. We need another shield up. Please, please. Don't die. Don't die. There we go. All right, we got Guardian Shadow up. Hopefully, he gets nuked now, so he has big healing. That fear effect on everybody is just so crazy. It's like a Jara's on our team here. The question is, do we have enough damage in these last two rounds? Oh, we need another active. No, I think we're going to miss it here. We have one last round. We do have an active. It's not enough. It's just not enough. Oh, my God. We can definitely get this one done. Let's just see if we can skip this one. 
and get a W. If not, we'll come back to Yeah, there we go. I figured we would. Very even damage across the board here. We have the hybrid wave, which I think we actually do better than the full warrior wave here because we can lock down the two casters in the back, which is awesome. Might need to go back. I need to change back to an offensive artifact on the Star Swordsman Machman. I don't know. Ooh. Ooh, the Warriors are really knocking our back row out. I wonder if the Amon Ra's would be better in the front row in this fight. I think everywhere is just really dangerous right now. <laughs> oh, man, but only taking two hits. Lord of Fear Aspen can survive through each one, but he's not going to have the damage by himself without being a full householder, I don't think. It's just not enough. Yeah, we'll get like one kill and that's about it. What if we swap you two to the front? Let's just see what happens here. Is it safer or is it more dangerous for the Amon Ra's? Probably more dangerous. Ugh. We would need like a taunt effect up, I feel like, to keep the Amon Ra's going. <sighs> Although it's not horrible. I feel like going back to Balance Strike might be the answer, though. Because I think our issue is the Star Swordsman Mockman is just not able to heal back up after taking damage. Same with the Lord of Fear Aspen. Yeah, we're not going to get the kill here. It's close. It's very, very close. Let's switch back one more time. And then we'll leave it at that for now. And then I think next time we'll see what we can do with our household. We'll swap both of our heroes, our Vesa and our Sword Flash out for both of these heroes, and hopefully we have the tenants to deal with it. Oh man, we already lost an Amon Ra. I don't think this is going to be a good attempt. That that feels like we needed like both Amon Ra's alive the first round. Maybe putting one of each in each row might be better. Like put carry slot one. I mean, this could just be a win, too. You never know. We have a lot more damage, and we have Balance Strike for healing. Nah, it doesn't look like it. One more. One more. Let's split the difference here. We'll put one carry, one Amon Ra, both front row and back row. See how this works out. It does let one of the Amon Ra's get uh, an active off. Sadly, the other one did go down. It's kind of just amazing, though, that these heroes can do so well. We have no V4 supports. We have no Cloud Island setups on these heroes. This one's actually working a lot better. One Amon Ra front, one Amon Ra back, but it did all fall apart here at the end, sadly. I don't think we have the damage to do this at the end here. We're going to get probably like one or two more kills, but... Yes, yeah, it's so close. So we'll come back to it. We'll keep pushing in 27. It's fun to see what this stuff can do. But honestly, he's just become like one of my favorite heroes. Just really, really awesome. Really enjoying it. So let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.